Welcome back to Book of Dawn, Ayath Academy. Uh, tormented by Gnomes here, once again after the break, along with Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra. When last we left our heroes, they were standing in Ioth's office. Now, I know we've got a lot of Acts of God to play through. We will get to all of them, and we will turn the cards back on. Just, we're going to go through this first. There's some stuff going down. Our heroes stand in Ioth's office. Garnet has opened the Book of Dawn. Able to comprehend its world-bending, unearthly, illogical contents, she turned through it and called Alexander's name. And in the other room, Renan gasped. Uh, Crowen, do you want to describe what happens, or do you want me to do it? You, you could do it. You could do it. Okay. Renan gasps, clutches at his heart, shudders, and reaches up at his face as his features begin to transform. His hair changes color. His skin back to its original shape. His face molding until it is no longer Renan who stands before you. But Alexander. Alex. What do you do? For Alex or? Uh, technically, yeah, it's your turn next. You have initiative count oh. 22. Unless, <laughs> did we skip Athelor's turn? Uh, no, 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 no you go turned. next. <laughs> <laughs> you go. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Yeah, Garnet took her turn at the bottom of the round. It's Alexander's turn. What do you want to do? Oh. After, as this transformation is happening, and I, I think a lot of it is catching up mentally to this situation the memories and feelings experiences that were renin's and now molding with alex's it takes a few moments to kind of get his bearings observes the room is still in the telekinesis from um from l now but then slowly just a massive grin comes to his face and says, ah, it's good to be back, isn't it? Ah, hello there, old friends. It's almost like we're picking up right where we left off, isn't it? I'm in the darkness. I don't see, but I do be hearing. Can't you see through darkness? Isn't that your thing? Uh, I have a... Uh, Can you see in magical um, darkness? Yeah, that's the thing. It's ma uh, I have dark vision. I have dark vision. Okay. Very, then very high-tech dark vision, but not that. Then, yeah, you cannot see in darkness. Eyes of night. Yep. So you can't see, but you hear that voice. And it's Athelor's turn, but... Or Elnau, or it's Elnau's turn. It's Elnau's turn. She looks at Alexander, her eyes narrowing as something clatters to the ground. Thank you, cat. <laughs> she rolls an Ooh. insight check and gets a dirty 20. She's going to float Alexander down towards her, still a foot or so off the floor so that she can look directly into his eyes and he can't touch the ground. Alex will stare right at El now, just still a grin on his face. Okay. 
She says nothing, just examining you with those piercing eyes, narrowed, untrusting. Athelor, what do you do? Athelor's uh, one-handing the football, and if uh, Alex is low enough, he's going to like go and attempt to give him like a one-armed hug. <laughs> okay. How does Alexander <laughs> respond? Go ahead. It's real. Go back. <laughs> I can't believe you're back. Alex just nods slowly. Doesn't do so much of reciprocating the the hug. I assume calm emotions is still affecting. Does that emanate from you, Athelor, or does that emanate from the original point? Uh, mm. Sensitive point within range, so I guess it's just where I cast it. Okay. And originally it was like yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, you're still you're still under the effect. Um Yes. Although as a fresh entity you might be able to make another saving throw. <laughs> I think uh, Alex upon, you know, being uh, emotionally suppressed right now is just take things pretty pretty slow, but we'll respond to it and slowly look towards Athelor. So it's been a long time. Too long. Gone it. Gone it. Alex is back. And with that, is going to. If that's your turn, yes. My my, do you want me to roll for direction, or can I just walk in the direction I've been facing? You can just walk in the direction you've been okay. facing. That's fine. You're <laughs> know, used to that. You're used to doing stuff in the dark. You're fine. Walks yeah. like the the wall. Walk in the wall. Uh, Gosh, is Alex here? Uh, <laughs> guys, I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> just like walks out of the the darkness, kind of the vapor of the flask of darkness kind of going around and just stands there and just wide-eyed seeing Alex. Didn't see the transformation, just sees that Renan is gone and Alex is there. And she's just wide-eyed, is so conflicted right now of both so happy but so upset because Renan is gone. And she fucked up again. She didn't want to make somebody go disappear mode. So she just goes, Where where's Renan? What Alex what you're back, but where's Renan? I think in response Alex is still wearing the, the robes that Renan acquired, mm -hmm. right? I think in just a, a flash between a few moments and now in Alex's body, but still those Ioth robes would quickly change them to mimic the appearance of every single set of robes that Alex has worn since he's been at the Academy, starting with those tattered yellow robes that F gave him in like before year one. And then would go through the sequence of, of every single year. But would land on just the will land on first the robes that Renan had before acquiring these to make those appearance, and then just changes it to completely just jet black robes. Um and we'll say Kind of looking at the robes, inspecting them. You did... You did well, Garnet. You should be proud of yourself. 
You succeeded in all accounts here. Yeah? Do I roll like an insight to get a vibe check? Is this like a genuine like congrats or is this like a you fucking did it, way to go, like vibe? <laughs> slow clap. Yeah, like a slow clap That's moment. Really <laughs> excellent. Donald Not Cass. sure the, how genuine this is sounding. Alexander, do you want an insight check here or what? Uh, I, uh, I think yes, because of the, cal the calm emotions. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's a good that's a good shout. Roll a insight check, please. Eighteen. Eighteen. Mm. All right. What does she deduce? That it's half genuine. There's more to that and purposely, I think, with concepts that he's learned from the infernals over the years to like try to like say things to bait emotion um but part of it is true garnet did succeed and there is a little bit of genuine impressed feeling there it's just more focusing on the genuine part because I think she was just going to mostly believe anything Alex said at that moment unless it was very obviously not and she's just like tears come back and she's big smiles now and kind of the whole point was to bring Alex back and she didn't want to frag Renan in the process but if it meant to bring Alex back like she was willing to accept that so she feels like she can let go now so she throws the Book of Dawn into the cloud of darkness as like a letting, letting that go behind and just kind of runs towards Alex with like a big smile, goes to hug, wraps like her arms around Brennan, just, or sorry, Alex now, <laughs> and I'm not used to it still. We've only just got used to saying Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, Alex. I I I've been thinking about you every day. I I I didn't mean for this to happen, but we. I know the work is not done, and I know despair never leaves. <laughs> and she will cast uh, while her arms are wrapped around Renan's head will cast the, uh, the the healing hands on Alex okay. as like a just okay. to like if the herald was there like she just wants to confirm like wants to see the reaction to see if it's not only not only is it Alex but what would the reaction be okay uh regain 8 hit points alexander Oops. only reaction uh, is just Alex starting to laugh <laughs> God and, and is there just to clarify as well is there the detect thoughts still uh, going yes okay you want me to just start do that mm, well I I, I think from what you were saying before it's going to hug Alex would suffice for that but Alex would respond and say you think it was a sacrifice of Renan to me <laughs> and you made that choice willingly I didn't choose this. Hmm. Of course. It wasn't a choice. We are the same. What do you mean?
I created Renan. As a fragment of me. To roam these halls while I was stuck in that book. It was difficult. But it was still me. But now, thanks to you, we're whole again. So don't beat yourself up too much for it. Well, so Renan is you, and then there is no sacrifice, then everything is fine, or Right. Exactly. Everything is fine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I've, I've used the healing and you, you seem fine. You, remember, you had such a bad reaction last time. Oh, yeah, I remember. Indeed, Garnet, I remember. How could I forget you taking the one thing important to me and destroying it? Yeah, take How a could step I back. forget? If, she, if he says that, she is not happy that he said that. And calm motions has faded. This is not <laughs> Yeah. I figured I'd just time it with conversation since we're not doing as many defined rounds. Oh, is Elnau still there? I thought that was her. Elnau is still there. Oh. And uh, Alexander, you are reading her mind, and she is trying to decide whether or not to dust you. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, not without really skipping a beat after saying, you know, taking the one thing that was important and destroying it. But it's, it's okay. Garnet and like looks up and like looks into Garnet's eyes, even with Garnet's backing away. I forgive you. You didn't mean it. Really? No. What? Yes, really. You, you. It's tough being in your position, in your shoes expectation of the world on your shoulders can't make every right choice I don't blame you you made your choices too Alex <laughs> I did. I did. We have a lot in common, Garnet. And I think after this, Alex's gaze wanders towards L now and is. Checking back in, vibe checking with uh, with the thoughts there. Uh, she is currently contemplating asking one of the other teachers to cast a sending spell to get the sage back here right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Alex's attention will focus more towards well now and say thank you. Professor Elnau, or Headmaster Elnau, soon to be, hopefully. Thank you for everything you've done for the Academy, for Garnet. A lot of admiration for you. Roll a deception check, unless you're being 100% authentic. Deception is fine, I think. Okay. Um, 
it's to try yeah with the intention is to try to yeah let's just you know calm down even if the words are true to, okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah basically all right, all right. <laughs> 18 but okay well eight sir elna's running like shit today yeah, yeah. <laughs> not having a great day all okay, right her day. fingers relax a little bit on the staff of the arc magi that she wields the staff that was ioths an incredibly powerful magical artifact she still doesn't respond as she's just gauging, measuring. She turns, I should pr probably still contact the sage because Garnet told me about Xetheus. Mm. And you are aware that Garnet basically told her everything that Garnet knew. And Alexander remembers the conversation that Garnet had directly with Xetheus earlier. Renan did not remember, but Alexander does. So, she's weighing all of that together. And even though... I hate to interrupt, but also the school is under attack by an Acronis. <sighs> right. Right, right. Good point, Athelor. Yeah, so, um, I'm so glad you're back, Alex. But, Ariana's back down there alone. Indeed, we should do what we can to make sure the Academy is safe, shouldn't we? <laughs> I'm gonna need a fucking inside check on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need a cap check. <laughs> uh, while he's doing that, I would like uh, Alexander to roll either. Uh, you can roll another deception if you're if you are you yeah. know sussify. <laughs> That's a natural one. That is a natural uh, one. Let's see if you got any more. Uh, you, yeah, you've got one inspiration in the pipe if you want to spend yeah, that. Oh my yeah. God. All right, let's For go Renan, ahead and just But Renan is Alex. So. Exactly. So you're good. 21. Ah! <laughs> For a moment, you look over and he's practically got like a top hat and a snidely whiff. <laughs> and then you shake your head. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Must have been, must have been the wind. Alexander, I want you to roll a perception check for me, please. <laughs> perception check. Mm -hmm. Never Alex's strong suit, but... 13. 13. Um, Athelor, I would like you to roll a sleight of hand check, please. All righty. Uh, bam. Ooh, <laughs> might, have to, might have to inspo that one. Um, Can you sleight of hand? Yeah, you've got one in... Which which did you just burn? Did you burn one from uh, from the kiss of the scald earlier from your inventory? I've I've burnt my raid spiration. All right, all right. So, uh, Alexander, you thought you saw him muttering and gesturing with his hand as if he was casting a spell, but you didn't notice exactly what that spell was doing. Uh, Athelor, roll an investigation check with disadvantage, please. Oogie doogie. Mm, there. Ooh. Mm. You found the book in the darkness with your mage Excellent. hand that you cast earlier. Let us turn briefly to Ariana, who has just recovered uh, and noticed that. Uh, uh, oh, right. So Sig is sitting there on the floor, lying on the floor, chest open, melted keys removed. And Master Andrud was casting Detect Magic and sort of plucking at invisible threads as if investigating the, uh, the very spell matrix itself. There's something still here, an echo following the pathways. It's not going to resist... Whatever it is that you did, it's still bouncing around in here, keeping things rolling, but I don't know how long it will last. His heart's been split open. What? What do you, what do you mean? Yes, well, the, uh, uh, Anachronus's influence is gone completely, purged out. Oh, but well, that's the, good, right? The, those two keys were integral parts of the spell matrix core in his heart. He should be dead by now. The residual power, that residual fire is still flowing around in the exact same oh. pattern. But oh. I don't know how long it will hold. Well, well, well I, I have more. <laughs> she like holds up her hand that she was collecting the rest of the Ariana, fire do you, with. 
Uh, do you understand the intricacies involved in this process? This is... No! This... <laughs> I just know that it's Sig! We have to save his life! <sighs> uh, we don't have time for intricacies! Okay, alright, alright, alright. Um, send that. Can, can, you, can you just spool that out very slowly? Very, very slowly and carefully and controlled, please. I will try my best. Okay. okay? Roll. She like starts to like, <laughs> little by little, like. <laughs> like an accordion? Yeah. Like, Roll a <laughs> arcana check for me, please. No pressure, it's just six life. Ah! Any inspos in chat, please? Uh, well, let, let me see Go if on. anybody gave you some stream loots in Spose. Just the, just the crumb of in please. Quickly, oh. turn the, turn the uh, cards back on. Turn the cards back on. <laughs> Quick. We all, we all the had cards. the one, right? We all had the one. Yeah, you all got one from Kiss of the Scald. Uh, did you use yours yet? Uh, well, I say, well, so I used one from Cat. Right, mm -hmm. but you also, so there was an Act of God card, there was a Streamless card that gave everybody healing and one point of inspiration. So you could spend that okay. one now if you want. Yes, we'll okay. spend the <laughs> Let's go ahead and re-roll this. Oh, wow! A seven. Okay. <laughs> say he dies. If he okay. dies, he dies. <laughs> wait, 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 I have another inspo in chat! You, you can't duplicate more than one inspo on one roll. Gosh, can I use an adaptive die? I don't want to die. You can Sorry. use an adaptive die. <laughs> and if you have a luck die, you can spend that. No, no, no. Well, wait, I, you I had all the luck dies. Oh. Do what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Panic. Because Garnet and I have lucky anyway, so we're like, they're yours. <laughs> oh, I have a, yeah, I have a 1d8 inspiration die. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be a great thing to burn. And you can add your 1d4 adaptive die to that as oh, well. Okay. Eight, four, plus, eight and four. Eight and four. I hate to be a nerd, a nerd about the rules, eights. but you also have your codex die. Oh, that's, that's great. Oh, we're saving the fucking day, man. Keep More dice. Thir we're up to a 13. Okay. The codex die. Oh, the codex die. die. What is the codex die? 1d4. <laughs> All right, I want you to record that all this crap has been used now, okay? Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Oh! 17. <laughs> By the power nice. of bullshit. All right, so at first you're losing control and Andre's like, steady, steady! And you... And you see Andre sort of taking this, gesticulating wildly over the open heart and sort of channeling this magic into almost a wireframe heart made of threads of fire. And it plugs into the flesh at key points as she's trying to keep this stable and to ameliorate the flow of the power that you're sending through here. I can't at, hold it! At that moment, Henan Brook walks up the steps. <laughs> what? Yeah, Henan Brook, one of the founders of the Codex, walks up the steps. He used a Codex style as like a bat signal. <laughs> oh, <true. laughs> hmm. What? What are you doing here? Is Master Sig okay? As Master no! Sig sits there with a burning, fiery heart <laughs> in the open, exploded <laughs> chest cavity. No, no, he's not okay. Go away. Get help. I don't know. What sort of help would be applicable in this situation? Ariana turns to Master Andarud like, <clears throat> um, oh. someone that can put together a spell matrix because Andarud can't think for anything right Excuse now. Excuse me, I am concentrating here. Exactly. So focus on the task at hand. I'll figure it out. Spell <laughs> matrix person, please. Hmm. I think I have a book about that. I'll be right back. Uh, I hey. hope I haven't stolen this book. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. So, Hedin goes back and looks for a book that he's not going to find. No, no. I, I, I was, I was misunderstanding. I thought it was under looking for the book, and he might have gone to the, uh, to Iof's Tower to look for the Manual of Golems. Which I'm like, <laughs> no, no. He's dealing with something else at the moment. 
don't you? All right. Uh, so he runs off to go get help. Ariana, is there anything else that you can do at the moment? Uh, no, I don't think so. I just I keep a pushing. Okay. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hennon is going to go back and continue searching. Meanwhile, up in the highest room of the tallest tower, uh, a call to arms has been issued. Athalor currently has possession of both the Book of Dawn and the fossilized blood of Erakura. He is currently wielding more power than most Archmages. But the book is still just floating in your, in your hand. It hasn't, uh, it hasn't left the darkness. Yeah. Where did he go? Master Sig needs this. Yes. Ren, uh, Alexander, why don't you come with me? We'll all go to the defense. Uh, yes, let's. Wait, I... Well, you... Can I just get a minute with Alex? While you I guys... Don't... Roll a persuasion check. Now. Garnet, because Master Elno is not looking to give anyone a minute at the moment. Uh, can Alex, in response to that, kind of pick up and say, "Yes, it it has been a while. I'd really love a moment to catch up." Just you're the seconds. one who just mentioned the academy was under attack a moment ago. It was I mentioned so important. that. I, you agree? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks over at Garnet. Garnet, it's sees, important to me. Sees the uh, urgency in her eyes. El now gives you a, a, a warning look and then gestures to Athelor and walks out of the room. Athelor uh, follows with the Eric Urine blood. I okay. Got, does the darkness dispel? Does this just like stay for like, a, for like an hour? It stays for a few more rounds. Actually, no, everyone was talking for a while, so I think the darkness uh, vanishes as the two of you walk into it. What do you do with the book? Uh, I thought she was, like, holding it in the mage hand, closed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, what, whatever happened in the darkness has happened in the darkness, and at the moment it's very much in the view of Elnau, mm -hmm. and he is carrying the Erakira blood now with both hands. Okay, she is going to point at the book and then give a... Bring it here. Come on. And the Mechan just hmm. All right. She takes the Mechan, the Mechan very thoroughly, like it holds it upwards and then sort of like draws away. Okay. She'll take it, clutch it, and move to the staircase, muttering to herself as she turns back over her shoulder. Alexander and Garnet, the floor is yours. Is the door closed, you said, or no? Nah? XP. Plus one XP. Uh, no, they did not close the door. It's just looking back to see if they're. Are we out of earshot? If you slightly. whisper, yes. They're like thirty feet okay. away. Okay, we'll approach and see that they're not in earshot. Walk mm -hmm. up and whisper. Look, I know he's not gone. Just because you look like Alex doesn't mean you are Alex. So. How do I know you're actually Alex? Ask me anything. Anything you think only Alex would know. I will say, I know what Renan knew as well. I could answer any questions from either. Um, what did we do to get away from studying when it was just you and I? If you want the answer, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You crowed, I don't remember. <laughs> it, we, we, we played uh, Pillars together. <laughs> we played Pillars. Yeah, I think... Alex does hesitate for a moment in thinking about it. And it's like, oh, a lot has happened. Let's think about it. Ah, of course, yeah, we played Pillars together, of course. And who is the girl in the mirror? <sighs> Alex takes a deep sigh and shakes his head. I'm so sorry, Naomi. 
So it is you. You were in the book. And you were also Renan at the same time. It's complicated. And where is the snake? Where is the herald? Well, you made sure to put a stop to one of those. Couldn't tell you about that. You put a stop to one, and I plan to stop the other, so where is the snake? <sighs> well... I imagine... Right where I left them. Where did you leave the snake? <laughs> With Renan. Well, you were Renan, so... Yes, I am. Alex, I don't want this to go down the same way as last <laughs> time. You started this, Ghana. Do you not want to finish it? Not the way I did last time. Oh. That's too bad. I was rather looking forward to it. But we can do it your way. You can expel it. We can work with the sage to... You can have power outside of these things. Hmm, can I? Do you believe that, Garnet? Really? Yeah, I, I studied in a dark cave and got new powers that I shouldn't have. Why can't you just start over like I did? Oh. You didn't have anything before that. You don't know what it's like to... Well... Maybe you did. We can study together again, like before. And you can win at Pillars this time. <sighs> I think... As this conversation is happening, Alex is with his eyes searching the room and upon deducing that book is not here, we'll say Gone it, I I I appreciate this, I might need a little bit to recalibrate, think about this, and the Academy is under attack. We should really help. I promise you, we will return to this conversation. I do mean it. We haven't solved our situation. You either... Expel the snake, or I will. <laughs> oh, that's the goddess intensity that I missed. You will? Right here, right now? Expel it? Don't test me. I gave Renan chances, and I shouldn't have. Oh. Don't make a stupid so decision like last on time. Renan. They didn't know. How could they? I wrote it to be that way. Well. It's an important day for you today, isn't it? As a birthday gift, we'll do it your way. Happy birthday, Garnet.
<laughs> is going to sigh and try to deepen the connection to Zalar that was weakened before and focus into that and put a hand on Alex's shoulders, almost hoping that he would stop her, but just is regretfully just doing that and channeling Zalar and calling upon him. I think also as that is happening with Garnet, Alex will, just to make sure, because I think there still is a little bit of un unsharedness there, reach throughout his mind for the presence of, of Zethius and check to see if it's there and will say internally she wouldn't be able to succeed would she she cannot separate us but she can destroy you mm. understood do not permit this You still can read Garnet's mind. Is Garnet trying to purge the snake, or is she trying to fry Alexander to a crisp? Uh, separate them. See if she can like expel and or cleanse the snake somehow. Okay. Garnet, roll a religion check for me. Sixteen. As you look into that place before, you see the fire of your birthright, the light of the phoenix, the light that renews and refreshes, that destroys and creates. And you remember the moment that you burned the herald away from Alexander the first time. It was melting a cold heart of ice. But this, this is a secret, a hidden thing, something that writhes and escapes and outmaneuvers. The power of Zalar directly counters the power of the Herald. But the only way, you know this in your heart when you deepen that connection to Zalar, the only way that Renan could be, that Alexander could be separated from Zethius is by his choice. Do I know this? Yes. You look inward, you look to Zalar for power, and that is the truth that comes forth. <laughs> it's choosing time. He has to choose, or there's no other way. As she notices this, she is very scared and looks into Alex's eyes and just asks him I don't even know how to word this um, Alex is what is the snake giving to you that your friends couldn't A reason to go on. I took this path to have the power to save and protect the people I love, but I loved Alex, but I don't love this <laughs> Alex. And puts the second hand on the shoulder and is going to ask Zaylar to fry Alex. Alex, is there anything that you have that you can do as a reaction? Do you have any form of counterplay? Um, All the serpent said was, do not allow this. Yeah, uh, I mean, like mechanically as a reaction, no. But if Garnet was like making a, a, a gesture or anything, I would try to be the one that acted first like maybe initiative or i don't know yeah i'll i'll allow a fresh initiative roll that seems fair 
Give me a moment to clear this. Okay. Make your choice. Roll it. And choose wisely. <laughs> It's gonna take some fucking oh, splaining. <laughs> we just got it back. Did we do it on three, two, one, or did you already? Win? I, I didn't really. We called on the. Okay, hit it with the three, uh, two, one, or uh, Nobs call it. <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, one. Send it. Ooh. Okay. Unless you have an ability that is usable as a reaction. I don't have an ability, but I have the coin of fate. If you would allow it. The coin of fate. So you, this is the one that you flip it, right? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. And it's okay. either a 1 or a 20. Okay. Call which is which. What is... Okay, no, you know what? You're going to roll 1d2. If you get a yep. 1. Oh, come it's on, a one. bro, my heart. If you get a two, it's a 20. <laughs> oh. Fucking pressure. Oh. Slash R space 1D2. Wait, Alexander. question. Yes. I'll DM you. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Ah, man. There's a lot on this initiative or on this 1D2. That's just. <laughs> Is this the most important role I've ever rolled in D and D ever? It might be. It might be. <laughs> oh man! Oh! Oh! Wait, what was the Ooh. result? I forgot. Dude, he's such a Vegas freak. <laughs> okay. Dude. Coin of fate is oh. tossed. What effect are you looking for with this 20? Because we didn't even specify what the roll was. And strike that from your inventory. It's gone now. Yeah, yeah. It, it is gone. Um, I guess the question is how far could I push that? Because if nothing else minimum would want just to be able to act first because so your initiative of... becomes a 20 yes okay the coin of fate that's that's a legit play that's a legit play garnet asks for the fire of zaylar to scourge you you see her eyes light up with this brilliant red then orange then white hot fire her wings flare around her the sign of the sunrider burns as she reaches for you what do you do Man, um, <laughs> this is a multi-step process, and that was only step one. So you know, it's uh, <laughs> oh man. I think <sighs> Alex realizes that even with the healing and stuff still still kind of messed up this is uh this is zalar holy day so garnet is uh really op right now and the way this has gone she would probably win in a fight so we'll try first to say to Zethius. If you want to continue your plans here with me, you will get me out of this. And see if there's any response, any action, anything. How are you on spell slots? Um, okay, oh yeah, I had a question. So mm -hmm. I'd used one spell slot before, but then there was that like Act of God or something last Mystic time that Surge, refreshed it. spell mm -hmm. slots. Did that, did that also apply to Renan at that point? Because mm -hmm. Renan was like, the, oh, okay. So yeah. we'll would be full then. Okay. Okay. 
Warlock fight. <laughs> what would be an appropriate intervention? What would be an appropriate intervention? It's F time. Where's the 40? The 40 ZPS? We already did that one. Yeah, that was uh, making mm -hmm. blindness for ghetto. Yep, yep. Okay. Zetheus. Casts. Plane shift. And sends Alex to the underworld. Could Alex, like, say something right before? Mm-hmm. He goes... Mm -hmm. After, like, communicating with, with Zetheus and kind of sensing that this is... Like, Zetheus is going to do, like, something, and then as soon as mm -hmm. he gets the uh, idea that's what it's going to be, let's say to Garnet. <laughs> You tried, Garnet, but remember, despair never dies. And he vanishes. Leaving your hand, one hand was already on him and the other one grasps at empty air. The power still courses through you. Garnet, what do you do? So have I ever seen that spell before? So I know... Roll an Arcana that. check. Uh, uh. 14. That is not high enough to identify that spell. That is third circle magic. It's a seventh level spell. That's a snake special. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we don't get... Our, oh, we get Arcana from Codex, right? Yeah, you still have a oh. plus 24 from Codex if you want to use it. Or did you already tell me the result and now I can't do it? No, I'll let you spend it. Right. That's fine. I know it says that, but, you know, whatever. Go ahead and burn <laughs> it. Get a three or a four. Nope, sorry. No no joy. <laughs> How, however, Hennon comes up the stairs. <laughs> Hi, guys. Is <laughs> running okay? Actually, actually. <laughs> you do have one uh, inspiration oh in chat from uh, your reenactment of the Kingdom Hearts thingy if you'd like to use that. I'll, I'll save it. Okay. Just know it's clearly he teleported the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. He's going to look back to see, did Elnau and Athlor just, like, watch all of this happen? And... No, you got, I think we were walking away, like, the second you asked us to. Mm -hmm. So the entirety of this conversation, we were. Mm -hmm. Oh. So they're, <laughs> they're both walking down the stairs. I think Elna was just going down the stairs and then she turns and looks back and sees Garnet. And she gives you a look. Is very visibly pissed off and upset and is just going to walk towards Athlor and Elna not really saying anything unless they i don't know what they have reacted to the because i'm sure there'd been like an effect of me trying to mm -hmm. yeah they would have seen Alex. like el, el now saw you fully lit up i thought it was going first so he did not see you fully lit up mm -hmm. roll an insight check please garnet oh head empty <clears throat> okay <laughs> only Zayla. You are lost in your own thoughts, your own grim thoughts, and you don't notice the look of fear and uncertainty that El now gives you as you burn with that incredible light. 
But nonetheless, all she says to you quietly is, come on. I we, have, need, we have to help. need to go find Alex. It looks at Athlor. He's gone again. That's not Alex. That's not Alex. That's not Alex. Something else. And looks at El now. We need to find the sage. But I want to be the one who ends Alex. She nods. She gets it. Let's save Sig. Yeah. Alex might not be here, but Ariana is. Need to talk to Ariana and just starts walking past mm -hmm. everyone just in thought. Okay. How to kill Alex, smile. <laughs> <laughs> and another name on the list, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's an honor to be on Garnet's list. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The three of you hop on the flying carpet that is still down there and begin your descent down below. Meanwhile, Ariana is still tending to Sig, working with Master Andrud for several minutes, just trying to feed that power as Master Andrud complains about the rate at which the fire is being transmitted. Uh, I, I'm trying my best here. Jeez, well, you, you do it. I'll give it to you and you can do this. <laughs> Not all at once. We saw what happened the last time. This is a okay. Well, then chill out. I'm this is doing my chill out. Delicate. This is delicate work. This is delicate work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Henan comes back with a pile of books, and uh, I think I know someone else who can help. But first off, this is everything I could find on the matter. Thud. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yes, thank you, You're... young student. We have so much time for reading at the moment. Yeah, that that was very helpful, Henan. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Plus one. And he walks back down to fetch somebody else. Now, as the wardens continue to defend the school and as our young heroes descend on the flying carpet with the Book of Dawn, with the heart of Erakura. It's not her actual heart. That would be much more powerful. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a heart gem bloodstone. Uh, <laughs> as they descend and they're taking care of everything that's going on, uh, we have a little bit of unfinished business to take care of, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, no. Ah. Uh, terminate variables. Disregard polyhedrons. Acquire bounded mathematics. All roles for the rest of this scene are ten. So just okay. nothing happens. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Well, I hate know, this one. Anachronist, well, the design you... is inexorable. You will roll a 10. <laughs> You've got plus sevens on a lot of shit, Garnet. So. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh yeah. That, I thought it was 10. Like No, your, your result isn't 10. Your roll board. is a 10. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Quan's just fucking dying. <laughs> I've been falling <laughs> for 30 minutes! <laughs> okay. Uh, does anybody say anything on the flying carpet ride? Oh, no, this is frosty. <laughs> At least I think. Okay. You return with great rapidity, and uh, the other students can see you on the approach. Ned returns with a couple of other students in tow. No, sorry, not Ned. Um, Henan returns. Spoiler alert, he brought Ned, and he brought Ava, who are both here to assist. Ned is a master of... Um, artifice and so he's taking a look and he's sort of poking around at things Anrud is using him as the assistant uh ariana's providing the power supply and ned is basically scalpel scissors magic probe level two can... spell slot level two spell slot level two spell slot <laughs> and then eva is a construct herself and uh is directly alongside and is helping to basically be a test dummy. Uh, Andrud is asking for Ava's opinion on things and occasionally like, hold on, he, he adjusts a monocle that he's got and he looks at the spell matrix surrounding Ava. Fascinating. 
okay, let's try to mirror this. And he creates an illusion. And then Ned is saying, okay. Uh, Ariana, what would happen if you rolled a 10 on an Arcana check? I would give you a 15. A 15. Okay. You have managed to feed. You're starting to run out of fire, but because you're pacing it very carefully and very slowly, uh, Andrew says, it's very odd. Fire should not behave this way under any circumstance. Regardless of the curious celestial phenomenon to the east, he points over the giant f fiery bird. <laughs> like, it's not, a, it doesn't flap its wings like a bird. It's more like a huge cloud of fire in the shape of a firebird. Regardless of the unusual weather phenomenon, this is this is very atypical for the behavior of pyromancy. We'll have to well, study this new. later. Ariana, like, just, <laughs> just had noticed. Seen it before. <laughs> like, oh my god. Okay, the um, you arrive at the landing platform. Actually, no, there's no more glass dome. You can just land directly. <laughs> bring the carpet down. Um, like, so, like fucking presidential helicopter mm -hmm. <laughs> Marine One lands uh, Ariana you see Athelor Garnet and Master Elnau all descending on a flying carpet the scene Master is yours Andrews, we've got the heart yep give it here give it here ba -ba. what all right oh 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 I, I have a uh, uh, what is this uh, soul juice <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it might help. Andrew so looks cute. at the glowing soul essence and says, where did you get that? Not a question to answer right now. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm not a necromancer. I, this isn't... Well, I don't know. He th he's dead, isn't he? Well, not exactly. Thanks in no small part to your efforts, but this is an unusual component. Look, give me the blood. He he grabs it and he starts uh, adjusting it. He polishes it a little bit. He chips, he takes out a uh, knife and he chips off a piece. And then he starts, okay, Ned, hold this carefully. Split the rib cage open. Ava, use your strength here. And he starts lowering it in. What is Garnet doing during this time? Just blinking and just not really paying attention. But mm -hmm. once... Waits for Ariana to be done with whatever she's doing and is trying to mm -hmm. figure out what the fuck's going on anyway. So Okay. They're doing open heart surgery on uh Sig, who seems to have exploded. Um, Athelor, what are you doing in this scene? Uh I'm gonna need a, a, a DM question here. Okay. Uh, when Athelor handed over the thing, are there just like now a bunch of these fucking Ericure and blood particles that he's breathing in? Uh, Is he getting a second hand high from the carving of this thing? It, it doesn't like splinter too much. It's more like carving off. It's almost got, it's a, it's a stone, but it's almost got this like waxy quality mm. to it. Like a cheese. Like, like a really hard cheese. So a little bit and the smell is intoxicating. Um. Athol takes a, a step back and is just sort of like very close to Garnet. Just waiting. Okay. Is anybody else doing anything during the rest of the surgery? Zathalor looks sus as fuck right now. <laughs> this is not a good time to look sus as fuck, my guy. No. <laughs> Athalor looks very worried. Looks That's an understandable reaction. Just trying to figure out. Probably will ask Athelor why. What's wrong with him? What, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out our place in all of this. Did Renin was Alex, and we were helping to bring Alex Don't back. But... Say his name. You asked, and he Athelor is just our friend as over of a surgery. All right. Everybody is working as hard as they can with the student assistants, Ariana's magic, Master Andrew's expertise, and the blood of Arakura. Everything is going according to plan, as long as this doesn't mess it up. Oh. 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 <laughs> what could go wrong? Ah, nothing. Kiss of the Skull. Everybody gets plus 2d4, uh, 2d4 plus 2 healing, and you can add an inspiration to your character sheet. Oh, fun. Pog. All right. So, with that, they seal up like eva does the last few stitches everything and then andrew goes all right everybody step back this is going to be 
the most delicate and important part of this process. Reaches into a pocket, digs around, pulls out a metal hammer, casts shocking grasp so it's full of electricity, and whack! Right in the right in the heart. Just thaws a motherfucker. <laughs> Sig twitches. <laughs> and his eyes flutter open. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Sig? Are you okay? <clears throat> Ariana like rushes over just to like be closer, I guess. I thought I wasn't supposed to feel pain. Does it hurt? Yes. That's a good thing. Oh, Ariana like pours a healing potion into his mouth. <laughs> All right. Better now? You know, as El now sees this, looks at Andrude and leaves. She just takes off with her wings. The other students are all gathered around Sig. It's a crowded scene. There's not a lot of privacy. There are a few eyes cast in your direction, Garnet, as these wings of fire hang from your back. It sounds like throughout the rest of the household, throughout the rest of Tarselmore, the wardens are winning. They're overcoming the machines that rose up in Anachronis' name. Obviously, this is going to be yet another trauma. It's you don't know if do you get trauma week three weeks in a row. It's going to be a Probably cleanup not. process. This is going to be ugly. The dawn has yet to begin, but it seems like the academy is getting things under control. What would everybody like to do? It's gonna approach Ariana and ask her if she has a minute. Oh my God, Garnet, are you okay? Ariana will like spring up and like hug Garnet very tightly. Just hugs her and kind of takes her hand and brings like her and Athlor away from the crowd. Okay. You walk, Somewhere. you have to walk down the stairs um, and into the greenhouse and you can try to find a place and you can hear some people whispering about what's going on over there. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and you can uh, walk away from Ned like, and Hennen and Eva yeah. and. Ask Sariana if it's okay to if she had anything else to do before stepping out. Uh, I I think I think Sig is okay. Uh, you know he's 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 alive now, and and um, there there are other people to take care of him. I want to know what's okay. Are you guys okay? I'm so sorry. I I left you. Or did anything happen? Just looks at Athalor. A lot. Uh, a, a lot happened. Looking around, I think. She'll notice, um, where's Renan? We don't need to say that name anymore. Uh, okay. Something um, happened? I just, can you just hold my hand for a Just puts her hands at not like a... Just hold her hands out like this and just ask Sariana to put her hands on yeah, hers. Yeah, 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 of course. And just thinks, I don't know how to say this, but, you know, you're fire magic and Sailor, I'm, I don't know, I just need focus right now. And you, you bring a lot of that calm for me, Ariana, and I just need to find where... She says this with like a bit of disgust in her voice. I need to know where he is. And just yeah. is taking her hands and is just trying to invoke like Zalar and just maybe using Ariana's fire magic to see if that would be okay. helpful. And if okay, Athlor wants a hand in there, you know, get a fucking let's team effort this. Just okay. want to find where he is. Let's. Ariana will try to focus her whatever is left that she can feel into her hands using mm -hmm. 
like like a like burning hands if I can like mm-hmm. just to, like because oh. I know how that feels but like you know just to try to right, gather right. everything like okay let me do a few things first off oh. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Wind at your back. Perfect. Okay. As the two of you clasp hands, the fire of Garnet's wings and the fire of Ariana's magic flows together. It begins to wind and whirl around the two of you. The way that leaves scatter in an autumn breeze, gently curled up in currents, spiraling around the two of you. A wind flows from around Ariana from nowhere. And as the two of you hold hands and connect, you feel a deep bond of kinship, a kind of familiarity neither of you ever had because you're both only children. Neither of you had brothers or sisters. But in this moment, you feel like you know what that means. You feel in your heart what it means to have a sister. Ah, my heart! And as the fire flows around you, Garnet, what are you trying to do with this bond? She she just thinks that Alex like TP'd somewhere in the school and is trying mm-hmm. to find like approximately like where Alex could have gone, even just a hint, mm-hmm. a signal, just a location. Okay. The fire and the wind entwined rise from the same source, deep within the heart of Anakra. At the very core of the four kingdoms are the wellsprings of the elements. They rise up to sustain and form the mortal world. They dissolve up into the sky kingdom and they fall back to be renewed, another iteration of the cycle of birth, life, death, and renewal. And somewhere at that root, deep within those wellsprings of power, at the very heart of the elements, is a shadow in the form of a serpent. And you realize, Alex is not in this world anymore. He's in the underworld. Does does Ariana get this feeling also? Yes, or is... the, the two of you are connected right now. You are sharing this experience. Oh, okay. So, oh, Ariana got like hit with what happened. I think at this point, she like knows oh, what's going on. Okay. Oh, oh we've realized this. Yes. Oh my god. Um. Garnet, are are you okay? Ariana, I don't think you'll forgive me for this, but I have to have to kill him, who we used to call Alex. Uh, I uh, I think Ariana, upon feeling like Garnet's emotions and like intentions with that and just like knowing i think everything at that point like if garnet had shared those like surface thoughts and Mm -hmm. and all of that um i i understand um i tries to join them and just puts like a arm on each shoulder i'm here (laughs) to help you and 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 both of you i It's going to be okay. I'm sorry I hid from you guys that he was dealing with the snake. I was worried that if anyone, I mean, snake doesn't like when his secrets are known and I already was in danger knowing it. And I just... If, if I told you guys, I, w- I didn't know what was going to happen, and I didn't know how you would react, and I just wanted whatever backlash was going to happen 
for me being nosy to fall on me and no one else. And I didn't even tell Elle now until recently. But I'm not going to lie. I also was mad at you guys because I felt like we forgot about Alex. I felt like we just replaced him. And if you guys would do that to him, then why wouldn't you do it to me or, or someone else? And I lost trust in you guys. And I'm sorry I did that because I should have trusted you. And if I wouldn't have, if I would have not gone in this alone, it, things would have, be, would have been better. And I'm, I'm sorry I didn't talk to you guys when I should have. I was just scared. Garnet, I'm sorry. I didn't know that this is how you were feeling, and I, d I don't think anyone intended to, you know, just forget about him. It's been a confusing time for everybody with, with loss and stress and grief, and I'm so sorry that we weren't there to support you either with knowing what you've been dealing with and you've been carrying so much burden on your shoulders but we are always here for you and i do hope that you know that we would never just forget about you but i Glad we can go into this together now. You're the best friends I've ever had. We're a team. I we're we're a family. For you. Thanks, Athelor. It's good to hear it from you, too. It just gives a big old hug. <laughs> Group <laughs> the <other> hug. hug. <laughs> <laughs> Mathlore just kind of like rests his forehead atop their heads as a mm -hmm. considerably taller, slender elf thing. <laughs> the camera flies out from the small chamber as the three of the students who remain of the original four comfort each other. Elnau heads straight to the Tower of Divination, where Rednop is dealing with a machine uprising in his own way. And out of sight, she tells him, the worst has happened. We need the sage now. Rednop nods, begins going through his cards, looking for the one that will signal the sage to return from the court of Railta, the Titan. Somewhere in a shadowy cave, deep beneath the roots of the world, a child stands wearing black robes with tattoos across his entire body. Not so much tattoos as scales in patterns of snakes winding around him. His eyes glow green and he smiles as he sees everything in this place. Over time, the Academy is able to repel the attack. Again, there are losses. But the sudden burst of fire that encapsulated the weapons of the Wardens turned the tide. When the Wardens go down to Tarselmore's vault, they find the Clockwork Abomination spewing fire and acid at the gate, at the door, attempting to tear it down. They manage to overcome and destroy it, driving yet another Infernal's influence from the Academy. But little do they know that behind that door is another student sealed within Tarsimor's vault, her eyes shimmering green as the serpent plays one of his remaining cards. She makes her way through the vault, not knowing what it is she's doing, walking under another's guidance as she approaches a sarcophagus at the very heart of the tomb, sets her hands upon it, and in a hissing voice says, Tarsalmor, I have need of you again. 
And under normal circumstances, that's where I'd say tune in next week to find out what happens, but we have a little bit of unfinished business, so let's just go ahead and... Hmm. As solid as wits. What does this one do? Mm. Malleable as wit. This one, when activated, gain resistance to all damage and advantage on all saving throws for 1d10 rounds. So that is a buff that the party has and can choose to activate on their next adventure. Ooh. And I will t take note of that, and then I'll make you take note of it so I don't have to record it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, <laughs> level 50, oh what's in the chamber? What we got oh going on? What do we got in the Blessings box, of the Phoenix. Well, obviously, Zayla is not done with us. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. Okay. Let's, let's see what this one does. Destruction to the unclean. Rebirth to the Righteous. Okay. Uh, I'll talk about that one with you offline, Garnet. Mm. Okay. And I think we, we have one, one last little teaser scene before we close the door on tonight's episode as everybody is recovering from the attack yet again. When the dawn comes, it is brilliant. The sun shines brighter than ever before. Each ray falls over the smoking debris-covered academy racked by yet another battle, and as that light passes over the skin of the teachers, the wardens, the caretakers, all of them uncertain, Master L now in her tower, looking out the window, the light shines in, and it is a comfort, a balm, solace in the face of all this trauma, hope that a better tomorrow is possible. The light of Zalar shines down on Ioth Academy, as its people begin to rebuild. And in the heart of the dorm room, where the sun doesn't shine, inside Athelor's room, what do we see? Athelor stands in the doorway for a long time of the now single room, having been through two roommates and seemingly having been betrayed by both. And as he's bathed in the early light of the dawn combined with the red light of Zayla, he steps inside, closes the door, and there's a clang as the metal armor from his arm hits the floor. A rustling of clothes as he kneels down and takes off the tunic that keeps his torso from being bare to the world. And he takes from his pouch the quill of Ioth, and its tip is almost incendiary, with a beautiful, bright sparkle at the end. A single drop of dawn magic recovered from the book. And as he kneels in the center of the room, he brings out his cheat sheet and armlessly the quill sails to his chest and above his heart he carves into the flesh Ioth's rune for Arcane. And now we're going to end it. Thank you everybody so much. What, a, what an episode. We will, uh, next week... Most of our cast will be busy, but Crowen's available, so we'll do. So how about we do something fun, huh? How about, how about I'm we do something down. Fun? Hey. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye.